In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to draw an involute of a hexagon. So, draw an involute of a hexagon of side 25 mm and draw the tangent normal at a distance of 80 mm from the pole. So, this is the given problem. So, first I will explain how to draw the hexagon. Drawing the hexagon, a simple method is there. That is, with the given side as radius, draw a circle as shown here. Then here I want to get the horizontal side of the hexagon. So that's why I take the horizontal diameter. Call this end as 1. Now take 1 as center. And this particular distance O1 as radius. Draw an arc. This is 2. This is the second vertex of the hexagon. Next. Next take this point as center. Up to here. This distance as radius. Draw an arc. This is some 3. Next this will be 4. Now take 4 as center. O4 as radius. Draw a semicircle like this. This point is 5. Next take 1 as center. O1 as radius. Draw an arc like this. This will be 6. Now join all these points. This is the required hexagon. After getting the hexagon. Here is the circle. Okay, this is the simplest way to draw the hexagon. This side is 25. Now take that hexagon here with the 25 side. You give the names in the direction of winding. Assume that winding direction is counterclockwise. So that's why this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this is 6. Now extend this 5, 6 side like this and take this 5, 6 this particular distance that is 25 as radius mark 6 divisions along this line so now from here I am start marking this is first division next draw one more arc with same 25 radius this second division this distance is 25 next third this fourth fifth sixth in this way with 25 radius mark 6 divisions any excess portion is there means you can erase it. Erase the excess portion of the line. Next, call this end point as point P. Now take P to 1 distance with compass. Mark this distance from this point 1 by extending this 6 1 side. Extend this 6 1 side like this and mark the distance here. This is this end point you call as P1. Now take this point 6 as a center, this particular P6 as radius and draw a semicircle. So now take P2 distance and after 2 you have to mark the P2 distance by extending this 1 2 side like this. This point is P2. Now take this one point as center up to here as radius draw a draw an arc up to P2 like this okay. next take P3 distance P2 3 distance that distance you have to mark after this point 3 by extending 2 3 like this this P3 next take 2 as center 2 P2 radius draw an arc next take P2 4 distance mark that after 4 by extending this 3 4 like this then this is P4 Take 3 as center, 3 P3 radius, draw an arc. Next, take P5 distance. Mark the distance after 5, like this. This point is P5. Now, take 4 as center, up to here as radius, draw an arc. Then, take P5 as center, draw an arc, like this, up to here. Now, involute is completed. Next, how to draw the tangent normal at a distance of 8 mm from the pole? So, for this, first I will explain how to draw the tangent and normal to a circle. Suppose this is a circle. At this point P, I want to draw the tangent. Then what is the method? Draw a line from P to O. This will be the normal. Draw a perpendicular to P O. That will be the tangent. Suppose full circle is not there. A part of the circle is there. In that case also the procedure is same. From this point draw a line to center. 
then that will be the normal perpendicular is tangent so here in the same way for this involute different arcs are there different arcs are there a part of circles are there at any point you want to draw the tangent and normal means from this point you want to draw the tangent and normal join this to center of that particular arc that will be the normal and perpendicular is tangent now for example here i am taking a point here 80 mm from the pole from here 80 distance means i am getting a point somewhere here so now the center of uh, this particular arc is point 3 point 3 now draw a line joining p to this particular 3 this will be the normal perpendicular is this will be the normal perpendicular line to this is tangent so in this way you can draw the tangent normal to the ellipse